Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jeff Creel. I'm a flight instructor here at the Center of Piedmont, Cherokee County Airport, in Center, Alabama. I got with me today, Mr. Logan Grant, he's my guinea pig. And we're doing a short video today on what to expect on your first flight lesson. And we've already went through our pre-flight routine. We're here at the end of runway 25 and we're about to take off, so. All right, Logan, let's give it a little throttle and get out on the runway, line up with runway center line. And Logan steering with his feet. We have rudder pedals in the floor. We match the right pedal, we go right. We match the left pedal, we go left. As the yoke don't do anything on the ground, there's no airspeed over the flight control surfaces, so we steer with our rudder and brakes. Alright, lined up with runway center line, advance the throttle to full throttle while steering with our feet. We're going to let the airplane accelerate to about 60 miles an hour. And regardless of what you might see in the movies, it does not take superhuman strength to do this. Logan's going to apply a light amount of back pressure to the yoke or the control wheel and the airplane lifts off, as you can see. So the four things we're going to learn is climbs, descents, turns, and straight and level flight. We are currently in a climb. Our best rate of climb airspeed for this airplane is 75 miles an hour. And Logan is controlling his speed with pitch. In other words, if we need to speed up, he's going to push forward on the control wheel slightly. And the aircraft will speed up. If we need to slow down slightly, he'll apply a little back pressure and the aircraft will slow down. Once he's got his airspeed nailed to 75 miles an hour, he's going to trim the airplane with the trim wheel to trim off the back pressure that he's holding. And now all we have to do is sit and wait. The airplane will climb on its own. And we go through the boring climb for 3,000 feet. Uh, we're going to level off here at 2,500 feet, and to do so, Logan is about right now, he's going to start applying a small amount of forward pressure to the control wheel. In other words, he's pushing it forward until the airplane is in a level flight attitude. And he's going to hold that forward pressure and allow the airplane to accelerate in level flight to our cruising speed of 110 miles per hour. speed of 110 miles an hour. We will reduce the power slightly and trim the airplane for level flight. All right, about 2600 RPM. Push it in a little more. 2600. There we go. And now trim the nose down for level flight. Okay, Logan has the aircraft trim for level flight at 2,500 feet. Now basically we just sit here all nice and happy. The airplane will pretty much continue on course as is as we're currently on a heading of west. And I'm going to have Logan make a left turn to the south. And what he's going to do about right now is he's going to apply a little left aileron with the control wheel and just a little left rudder pressure until we reach our desired bank angle. And now he's pretty much neutralized the controls and we're always waiting on the airplane to turn to the south. I don't know if you can see that on the video or not. And about now he's going to give it a little right aileron pressure with the control wheel, roll the airplane back to level, and we're headed south. Now these are the four 
fundamentals we learn in the beginning. We get all these right before we move on to anything else. And that's, as I said before, climbs, descents, turns, and straight and level flight. Well, Logan is going to do a right turn to the north. He's going to apply a little, turn the wheel to the right, or the yoke it's called, apply a little right pressure. So not much movement, as you can see. And the airplane's in about a 30 degree bank. And we're turning toward the north. We're level at 2,500 feet.